you've been taught wrong. There's something in boxing that every single coach in the world is teaching their students, which not only prevents them from learning most optimally, but it's actually teaching their opponents how to beat their own students. And it's even sillier when you find out that this is the most common shorthand that we use in boxing and MMA. Let me explain. Every fighter knows these commands. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are just symbols. They're shorthands in order to deliver information quickly and efficiently. And once upon a time, we were also able to deliver this information surreptitiously because this was not a universalized process. Not everybody used these shorthands. But that's the first problem, right? Is that if I'm delivering this information to my fighter as a cornerman, his opponent hears it too and knows exactly what it means. So, hey, every time he throws the one, throw a three. His opponent hears that and realizes every time I jab, he's going to come back with the left hook because he has the exact same shorthands. Now he can actually go one level above what he's supposed to do for that strategy and come back with the perfect counter strategy, right? He now knows that his opponent, my fighter, is looking for that left hook when he throws this jab. So now he can start feinting with the jab and coming with the counter or pre-pulling to get out of, out of range or pre-ducking to come back with some kind of counter, right? I've actually set up his opponent better than my own fighter. That's a big problem. But the problems don't end there. The most important issue with this one, two, three, and so on system is that the punches are not oriented in space, or I need a thousand of them to cover the whole body. Let's look at the one, right? It's a jab usually to the face. However, if I want to have a jab that is to the body, I need another number. And now I'm getting high up in those numbers and I have to have a million of them to cover the whole body precisely. But if I come up with a way to correspond to variables, now I can create a language where I can orient them in space specifically because I have an X and Y axis. Now that sounds like a bunch of math. I know you're freaking out. Let's look at an example. It's very easy. So let's look at the one, the jab, usually to the face. Now, instead of calling it a one, we're gonna call all jabs a J, which means that it's the entire column of my center line. It's a plane of movement, that is J. And to orient specifically where on this plane of movement I want to punch, I'm gonna label my body one to five. One is the forehead, two is the chin, three is like the solar plexus high up chest, four is right below the chest, five is at the belt line. And now I want my fighter to punch his opponent exactly with the jab, exactly in the chin, J2. And his opponent goes, what the hell does that mean? Is he playing Jenga? Is he talking about my spinal cord? And your fighter will know exactly what that means because it's not a complex system. It's just two variables. You can do the same thing with the right hand, right? R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, right? Or you could do it with the uppercut. Now, maybe you want to do this in uppercut to hook continuum instead of a pure uppercut, because remember, an uppercut eventually turns into a shovel hook, eventually turns into a hook, if you look at the plane of motion as a circular type of movement. But you could also just do separate ones for the hook at different heights and separate ones for the uppercut at different heights on the body, or you could do it as one movement that is a continuum. It doesn't matter. You create it yourself, and then it's only your language, and nobody else knows what it means. But it's not hard at all to learn. You can learn it and then teach it in a single lesson. I promise you, it's not nearly as complicated as it seems. Look at it. You already know what J means, right? It's the jab, and there's five spots on the body. J4, where is that? Approximately here. I'm sure you knew that, right? You figured it out, right? J1 jab to my forehead. It's not hard to learn, but now you have a much more effective way to give this information to your fighter and keep it hidden.